another episode in my kitchen. So some nice street food, curry puffs. What I have here in this bowl is some boiled, uh, um, two cups of peas, about three quite large potatoes skinned, about three carrots cut up into nice pieces, about as big as the pea. We want them to be really small. And they're boiled down to soften them with teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of salt. Make sure they're well drained as well. So we want to get rid of the water for the filling for the curry puffs. Here we have three large onions. Get rid of the moisture content. White onions have got so much moisture content to give, give them a squeeze. Let them rest and, and get rid of as much water as you can or use red onions, far less water content. We have a tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste. Let's talk about the whole herbs we're using or fresh herbs. We have equal quantities of finely chopped fresh coriander, the same quantity of fenugreek leaf and we have about 20 curry leaves there, really finely chopped. It's going to give an amazing flavour. Don't worry if you can't find fresh curry leaves. You can adapt this recipe accordingly to what you have at home or what you have available. Powdered spices, we have one heap teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder. We have just under a teaspoon of salt. We've already got some salt in our vegetables. I don't want to overdo it with the salt. And we have a large tablespoon of coriander to flavor our oil we've got a tablespoon of cumin seed a tablespoon of mustard and half a tablespoon of fennel so we're going to be deep frying them so we're going to need a pan of oil i'm using rapeseed oil it's one of the healthier oils with a high smoking point we're going to need a wok to essentially make our dry curry and i'm cheating if jamie oliver can use patax and come up on, on um, the internet making a curry out of patax. I mean, that's just an excuse for a curry, isn't it? I'm using pre-made spring roll pastry. There's 50 sheets there for £1.50. Absolute bargain. So a few shortcuts. Another shortcut is I'm using a curry press mould that I bought in India the last time I was there. So feel free to make your own pastry. You can fry these, you can bake them also if you want to be more health conscious. Good to have your plate, slotted spoon and some kitchen towel to drain any excess water. So let's get cooking. So we just want enough oil to crackle those seeds off, get the full flavour out of them and fry down our onions. So cooking about four, four or five tablespoons of oil, let that come to a nice heat. So make sure your oil's nice and hot. In with the whole spices, crackle them off for about a minute and a half. Next, in with the curry leaves. As soon as you hear it, stop crackling, add the onions. And we're going to saute those onions down for around four minutes so you don't really need to brown your onions so that's been four minutes in with the ginger and garlic give that a good mix come back in one minute next in with the powdered spices exactly the same give it a good mix we'll come back in about two minutes next in with the fenugreek leaf and the coriander nice and fresh and we just want those to wilt in one minute we'll come back next in with our vegetables that's why it's good to use a wok plenty of space you don't want to mash your vegetables up you want them to be able to move around the pan so just fold those in you can turn the heat down to a minimum now and we're just going to fold those spicy herby onions in with the rest of the ingredients, we'll come back. So ensure all your um, vegetables are coated evenly, you've got no lumps of the onions left, and that's just right. Allow that to cool down now, you can put it to the side. You can heat up your oil for deep frying, or get your oven preheated for baking. 
and these freeze really easily. And I'm going to attempt to make at least, I don't know how much is there, there's a good two kilo of vegetables there, £2.50 or three, three and a half dollars if you're in the US. What a bargain. And so tasty, I've just tasted the mix. So, oil's heating up. I must say, let this be a lesson. You see this uh, rubbish, that packet I showed you earlier? Very, very um, difficult to work with. So what I've done is just come up with my own pastry. All it is, it's just how you'd make a chapati, but not without a flour, plain flour. Um, so I've knocked up 400 grams of flour, mixed it with water, rolled it out about two inches thick, and this is how we work with our curry puff press. <clears throat> so make it a little bit bigger, and we want a little bit of the mixture in, not too much. Tried and tested method. That's what I should have stuck to in the beginning. And the old faithful. And I, what I've learnt is cheating or trying to cut corners often doesn't work. So there you go, a little curry puff press there. So a little bit of a plan B, but that's the reality of the kitchen sometimes. So we've got our first little batch into the oil. Make sure your oil's hot. It's healthier to use hot oil. Less absorbs into the curry puff or whatever you're making with oil in the future. All we want to do is just fry off the pastry. So I feel a lot better about using my own flour, my own dough. So I'll remember that in future. It takes a little bit longer to do something properly. Do that. So we're just going to take those out, put them onto some tissue paper, drain off the excess oil, and I'll show you what they look like when they're cooked. As soon as they turn golden, they're ready. And it took about three and a half, four minutes. So, whoo, quite hard work that was. So glad I made my own pastry. I could have been, um, I could have just edited it out. I just like to see and show the reality um, of things. So let's have a taste. Which one should we choose? Let's go for this one. So nice. So we've got a basic curry in the centre. Nice cooked curry puff. Have the taste. Mmm. Nice and crispy and fragrant. Simple, tasty and delicious, good to give friends and family, freeze them, eat some, put some in your lunchbox. Thank you very much for watching, feel free to like, share and subscribe.